Recruitment levels in the country rank at about 89%, and over half of this number are estimated to be youths who are aged between 20 and 35 years of age. From this particular group of society, some youths based in Lusaka's Mutendere and Kalingalinga compound are turning to abusing alcohol and drugs as a way to pass their time. An occurrence that has displeased some elderly members of the two cited compounds. The displeased affected members of the community are therefore calling on government to consider extending youth empowerment programs to these unemployed youths as a means to reduce on their substance abuse. They are very different. In our case, whatever a parent, in fact, whatever, whenever an elder person told you something, we took it as if you are getting it from your own father. But these days, these children know. I don't know whether it's the human rights, but others have misunderstood what human rights are. Instead, they abuse it, their own life. Because drinking, alcohol, <laughs> no matter what, you become addicted, then your life, especially youth, your life will be ruined forever. So, I cannot say that youth, youth is just, they don't realize the importance of refraining from drugs. Because drugs at all costs, whether it's smoking, drinking, at all stages, drugs are supposed to be avoided by you. But instead, these days, most of them, they're blaming it on job, lack of jobs and so on. But you can do something. There are others who, like me and my neighbor, have got a small garden there. And, and now I wish that the government would put up a program to stop uh, the drug abuse. Because uh, a lot of youths have been destroyed with the same same drugs. They, are, they when someone takes those drugs, they do, they do not think of anything apart from just staying at home. So at least if uh, government they can try or they can try and put up a program for the youth, at least it in the check reduce drug abuse. I think that one will help out as well. President Ete Galungu, in his 2021 speech delivered on Youth Day, which falls on 12 March, did emphasize on skills development and training as a way to complement youth empowerment in the country. And these Kalingalinga and Mutendere youths can only but await their share and chance to also contribute towards national development. Reporting for Movie TV News, Namangola Munti.